Mega is an improvised satire from the staff of a fictional mega church. We are here. Hiya, I'm Hallie Labonte, and this is Mega, coming to you from Twin Hills Community Church, where every single week we give our Mega Church a tiny family feel. We introduce you to members of our church staff, people from our community. I always think, this is a treat, and it is a treasure. Well, per use, I'm joined by my co-host. He's the youth pastor for our high school ministry called Climax. Please welcome... Gray Haas. Name above all names, gains above all gains, Hallie. How are you? Oh, that is so cool. I am great. How are you, Gray? What's well, been going I'm, on? I'm doing great, Hallie. Uh, I'm not sure if you noticed, uh, my clothes are a bit messy because I just got done doing some paintballing with my teens who come to Climax. That was fun. I'd never cool. done paintballing before. Oh, that's cool. Uh, they got really into it. We did, you know, you have two teams, red versus blue, or in our case, we did Christians versus, uh, you know, pagans, is what was kind of a, an umbrella term for, you know, I just considered everybody on that team either, you know, somebody who reads Harry Potter, a Muslim, or a Catholic. So that was really fun. And so cool. good thing the Christians Bailey won in the end. So that was a bit nerve wracking. Who's Bailey? Bailey. Is Bailey one of your no, climax no, kids? No. Well, three are named Bailey. No, Bailey. Like oh, we barely. barely. Yeah, we barely won. Oh, you. Oh, but the Christians won. Yes. Well, that's goodness. what's important. Yeah. And um, you gotta win. I mean, you have God on your side. Goodness gracious. My personal life is well. It got a bit tense this week, Hallie, because mm. I'm not sure if I've mentioned her before, but my former lady friend, uh, Jen Hatmaker. Jen Hat. Hat. Yeah. I mean, she's just really been out there, kind of putting it in my face that she's dating some new guy, which is insulting uh, because you know i had to break up with her because she was basically obsessed with me hallie oh. but then she called me this week and kind of you know we got in a bit of a tiff because she said you know i was in the uh, when she goes on live on instagram she, i was you know chatting kind of telling people the whole story in the in the live chat and she said i can't do that and then I said, what do you mean? And, you know, I'm just trying to tell people about our relationship. And she said, no, not that. I don't really care about our relationship. I want you to stop using the discount code for my book club. Oh, wow. And I just kind of was like, okay, whatever. Um, what were you said, getting? What were you getting with the code? Oh, you get all sorts of discounts, Hallie. And you also get discounts on clothes and things like that. And um, cool. so, I, you know, I said, Hey, the discount code was out there for everybody to use. And she goes, no, that one was for you to use because I gave you an extra 30% off or whatever. I just said, Jen, I cannot get into this with you right now. I'm so sorry. And of course, that that was all taking place in the Instagram chat um, that she was saying that because I pretty much I, I blocked a number. Well, uh, uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh, yeah, pretty awkward, Hallie. Uh, but. She's just going to have to live with the choices that she made. Let go and let God. That is right. How was your week? Oh, Gray, you know that being a mom is the joy of my life. Yeah, you've said that. And um, I just, I, I savor every moment with my kids, whether it's in the car or at home, making memories. It just really is. It's um, it's the honor of my life to be the mom of these kids, Day and my daughters. It seems like most of mothering is being in the car or being at home. Yeah, it is like that a lot. It's picking up a lot of um, pizza pizzas, yeah. you know. But um, I was... Uh, singing, I was in a good mood, and I put on some Amy Grant because uh, she best. makes my heart sing, and she makes me sing. And I'm singing in the car in my Lexus. I got my daughters in there, Great and I'm hair. singing. Um, oh, she, her hair, it's everything really, about her, she's gorgeous. I mean, the, just the best hair, maybe oh. the best hair in all of Christendom. And the way Vince Gill loves her, I feel like you always see these memes, like find somebody who looks at you like that, this Did or whatever. Did you say Yahweh seems? Yahweh see. Uh, Yahweh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Yahweh. Yahweh? Oh, well, you always see oh, you um, always these see. memes and stuff that says, find a man who looks at you like this. Find a man who rubs your feet like this. Find somebody, you know. And that is that. Vince Gill. 
Oh, I love their love. So what happened in the car? I was singing this Amy Grant song. In a little while we'll be with the father. Can't you see him smile? And I just was belting it out. And my daughters were probably trying to get me to zip it. And one of them said, what are you singing? What are those words? And I said, you know what? There's an opportunity to talk to them about Jesus returning. Because in a little while we are going to be with the father because Jesus is coming back. It is imminent. It could happen any day now. And they said, well, Amy Grant is saying in a little while. Right. How long is a while? And I says, well, I don't know. I have to look it up because like a mile is a measurement of distance. Right. A while is a measurement of time. Okay. But you don't have like, it's not a specific measurement of time. It's just a word that connotes the passing of time, I guess. Oh, I see. Yeah. What is a little while? Well, if you say it, it depends on how you say it. Because if you go, well, it's been a little while then that means a long time. Right. Usually the service is bad. But if you say it's only been a little while, then that means not long. Exactly. But you can't say big while. You can say a little while, but you can't say big while. Right. Yeah, well, I guess you can't. That's interesting. You can say quite a while. Uh -huh. You can say meanwhile. You can't say tiny while either. You can't say tiny while. You can say meanwhile, but you can't say nice while. So it seems like a, a while is either long or short, but it's definitely not fat or thin. Yeah, you can say a little while or a long while, but you can't say a big while or a small while, or like you pointed out, a tiny while. Right. Yeah, uh, it's it's been a good it's been a good while. Can you say a good while? Yeah, I think so. We say that in Australia. You use the word while. We do, but it means something different. Oh, well, the way we use it is it is a measurement of time, but not a specific one. So you got to put in that adjective or an adverb. I don't know what an adverb is, but it's something like an adjective. But um, yeah, so you got, you can say quite, well, now that I think about it, you can say meanwhile, but you can't say nice while, but you can say good while. I think, I think you can say, oh, it's been a good while. Right. So you can say a good while and a meanwhile, but not a nice while. You can say long while, little while. But not big while, small while, no tiny while, and quite a while. Um, and it also depends on how you say it. So what did you tell your daughter? Well, I told her that, you know, the Bible says we don't know the day or the hour, but we also know that it could come any day. It could be a little while, and I don't think it's going to be a long while. And I think that meanwhile, we should be like, you know, telling people the good news of the gospel because it could be quite a while, but it's probably not going to be. And we know it can't be a big while or a small while or a tiny while, but it could be a nice while. And a nice while, you know, while doing the Lord's work could be a nice way to spend a while. That took a while. Well, just like the Bible promises us that this world is not our home, our guest today brings Christ into the virtual world. It is Josie C. We are so excited to have you here. You need to inform us about what you're doing. Well, thank you for having me. I am uh, delighted to be here. You know, as you know, <laughs> I can do most of this stuff from my home. And so it's very rare that I see people face-to-face, -face, person to person. And it's it's a delight. Well, can you see us right now with that VR headset right, on? Right, you've Are got we the VR headset there? Can, on, can you but you can us? see us here? I can, add, well, now I programmed it before I got here okay. and you'll never believe this. <laughs> and I should have asked before. I should have asked before I came, but I did kind of make avatars for you too. Oh. So I, I can see your avatars and I hear, hear you speaking, but Hallie, you are a kind of a J Lo looking oh, tiger wow. that I've created for you. Yes, if I if I if I could describe a tiger as Jennifer Lopez, that is what it would look because oh it, there is it is a tiger, but she's wearing some cool Jennifer Lopez clothes. And then and what about me? What about me? Gray, I, so I just went very basic and made a kangaroo. And I'm sorry, oh. it feels racist, well, that's but I'm awesome. Yeah, that no. is a bit national pride. He's from down under. It is a bit though. Okay, well, it's some people. Some people like it when you. Say you're, you know, when you scream, you're Australian, and some people don't, and I'm right. I'm figuring that out, and I've got to say this virtual reality headset is helping me, as I hope it's going to help help everyone at the church just kind of learn. Yeah, you know, so if, if VR headsets can bring us closer to Christ, I mean, I'm all in. And before you get too discouraged, Gray, about your avatar, just because mine's so cool, um, 
I want to point out to you, if I may offer you a word basket of encouragement, have you ever seen how ripped a male kangaroo is? They have these pecs and lats and biceps and triceps, and they go like this, and they and they show them off, and they're very, very virile. Hallie, whenever we saw a kangaroo in Australia, we shoot it instantly. So, no, I is never... Is that right? Anyway, oh, wow. I just wanted to get back um, to the VR yeah. stuff, because you are the new, Josie C. Or is that Josie... It, so, I, is it Joe C C? Uh, is it with a C period? No, 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 it's no. Josie it's Josie C C S E E. Josie C. Yeah, C and and C as in yes. Josie C. Oh, Joe C C. Yeah, Josie C. Mm-hmm. Joe mm-hmm. C C. And um, I did. I changed my name oh, okay. once I got this VR position. Oh, to, I wanted to, see. to make it clear. Oh, yeah. oh, that's so cool. Mm-hmm. That is great. What was it? What was wow. the last name before? It was Josie Eat. And and that was when I was working at the McDonald's. And, you know, I just I want people to just I want my job to know I'm dedicated. OK, so yeah. you just like to change your name to whatever job you have at the time. Is that it? Absolutely. It's it's just oh, like I I'm one of those dedication. Power Rangers. You know, they have the colors. I've got the, the verbs or, you know, whatever it is. Well, I do have to tell you, I got nothing against a Mickey D's. I like one of those um, apple pies in a, in a tiny cardboard paper box. I, I got nothing against a classic Big Mac. Um, I'll even go with a, a cheeseburger from time to time just for the good old days. But the fries, you just can't argue with those are the best fries, period. End stop, full stop. That's it. Best fries there are. From God to us. Thank you. You know, there's some people that aren't believers. And... <laughs> I'm, I, I've, I've definitely, obviously when I work there, but I'm just like, how are you going to say there's no God if there's McDonald's? Yeah, I've never had McDonald's. But anyway, you know, Josie, Josie C, you are Josie now C. what people are current calling the VR czar of Twin Hills. And yeah. so tell us a little bit about how, what, what is your role here now that you're trying to bring all the elements of this awesome place that we call our church home into the, the what do you call it? The metaverse now? Is that what it is? The metaverse and it's mad. Massive. Okay. Is Great. It? It's massive. Like it is, there's so many aspects of VR we're trying to bring to the church. First of all, we're trying to get more people into the church. The old people that are about dead, that, you know, that have yeah. stopped coming. This is a good way to get them in. Oh, yeah. awesome. I call them the ADs, almost deads, mm-hmm. but they are still, you know, we, we can't forget about the almost deads. The people who are unattractive, uh-huh. right. that don't come to church because they're not attractive. We're trying to get those people back in. Oh. We don't want to see them, but we, you know, we'd love to see them as kangaroos yeah, or JLo, tigers or whatever, about. what have you. I'm also, we're trying to get Christian people into the metaverse. Okay. Are there not a lot of Christians in the metaverse right now? No, 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 no. Really? Really? There is, it is, it is the wild, wild west in there. Okay. Oh, like a lawless, Jesusless. Oh yeah, these are these people are sniffing virtual drugs, <gasps> and 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 bopping on virtual dicks. Oh, and I'm sorry, no. I have to be explicit there, but there is so much going on, oh, and none no. of it has to do with Christ. Really? Hell, it's hard. Oh, oh no. no. So just trying to get in there and just say stop. And try this, and looky there, and things like that. Just kind of mix it up. Yeah. So, um, so just get, getting into the metaverse and 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 lo- massive portion on education, okay. virtual reality uh-huh. education, because you know those Bible stories, they can get thick. Uh huh. Uh-huh. You know they hard to follow. Yeah. Right. Yeah. A lot of big boring. Well, yeah. I barely remember Adam and oh, Eve geez. is. I can't tell you how many times people have to repeat that story to me. Oh, really? It's oh, wow. confusing. It's kind of the first one. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. But I can't. T- but if but you get this virtual thing on your eyes, and then you go there, oh, and really? you're there, and you're kind of seeing it. The tree of knowledge of good and evil. And you see the snake. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh, and you're so right sad. there, and it is hard to deny it. Wow. Once you see it with your own eyes. Once I was there right there virtually, I judged Eve less. I still hate her, but I did judge her less. Okay. Yeah, we have to remember, especially once we're uh, voyaging into the virtual world of reality, that uh, we have to remember, especially you and I, Joe ZC, mm-hmm. is that a woman mm-hmm. who reached out mm-hmm. and took what she desired, not only destroyed her life, but it destroyed the entire planet Earth for all people for all time. Mm-hmm. And we really have to remember that.
Cause, cause if people are bopping on D's and, and, um, you know, reaching up and eating apples and doing whatever mm-hmm. they want, snorting some kind of virtual drugs and all this stuff, we got to be very careful. And for those of you who don't know what VR is, Joe CZ is, she is wearing a thing over both of her I think it's eyes. it's Joe CZ. Is it Joe Joe C. Joe CZ. Oh, like Spanish. Yeah. There you go. And she has this thing over her eyes. It's strapped around her head. It's almost like if you, it's like if you took a cast iron skillet and held it up to your face, but then like shrunk it into an oblong thing instead of a big round skillet. It's like she's staring into an oblong skillet. <laughs> Hallie, that was beautiful. I would love just the audio of that so I could transcribe it and put it on the website oh, that because good. that described it perfectly. Oh, I'll type it up, send it over to you like a bio. Yeah, get into the virtual world. It's like putting an oblong skillet on your face. I think that is a good sales pitch. And, and right now, Josie C., while you're looking at us in there, um, we're talking like my tiger J-Lo face is talking and his kangaroo <laughs> mm-hmm. mouth is talking to you? Yes. Yes. That's and so I got to say, Gray, the kangaroo is he, neither here nor there. The kangaroo is neither here nor there. But the, the, the J-Lo tiger, her tail is twitching. Oh, you know, okay. I mean, it's just her hair is in the wind. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, I mean, I, I guess, mean, I know you are a sight as well, but. Oh, God bless. I mean, isn't the, isn't the kangaroo here and there? Is the kangaroo ripped? The kangaroo is is the the it is here and there. I guess I, I'm saying it's not exciting. Okay. And, I, and I'm yeah, sorry you had to lead me to that, Gray. But you forced me to say is it. Is it possible just to switch the avatar because it seems like is something that maybe we could do before the uh, session? Yes, is over. I okay. could switch it in a second, but not with this voice that that you have. Okay. For me, I guess I could make it a. How how are you feeling about? I mean, I can do other Hugh accents. Jackman. Oh, yeah. I mean, Hugh Jackman is I mean, he's gorgeous. all right. He's all right. He's not as ripped as people say he is, to oh, be honest. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's insider. You know, one thing I did, Joe C., C., is, um, you know, what I worry about is people hear about these virtual planets mm-hmm. and they're like going around, but are they really having true human connection? And are they are they able to relate to one another when they're, say, you know, a lizard person, or, in, in Hallie's case, a, a strange tiger? Yeah. Absolutely. And I and I, I am here to testify. Oh, really? Honestly, I'm here to testify because there's people in that metaverse that I care more about than my own children. And that's not a diss on wow. my kids. I love my kids. They have been A plus kids. So I love my kids. They are great. But people in the metaverse I'm really connecting with. Wow. Do you allow your kids to go into the metaverse? No. No, 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 no. It's, it's, they cannot be trusted. I, I know I just okay. said I love my kids and I, I do love them, but it is, I'm not ready for that. Okay. Yeah. With yeah. great power comes great responsibility. In there, right? Oh, it's my favorite New Jesus Testament. quote. Now, here's the thing, Josie C, is that, um, I want to just say right quick that I appreciate your honesty. As a mother, I've got right. daughters. I have a teenage son. I am in it. Oh, mm. I and I'm in it to win it, but I'm having a hard time. And I appreciate your honesty because I think a lot of parents feel like you have to say your children are the greatest in the whole world. Not just the greatest kids, but they're the greatest humans that you know. And you know what? It's not true. It's not like I've birthed Nelson Mandela or Mother Teresa. You know, there are people out there that are better than my kids. You know, we got your Amy Coney Ooh. Barrett's and stuff, educated themselves, Kavanaugh's. These are good, you know, God-fearing people um I'm, I'm not claiming that i've made the best people in the world anyway and and i and i like i like I, you know what it's not easy having a flawed child but i am leading them to christ now oh, what great. if i had a baby came out perfect mm-hmm. what am i to do where am i to take them yeah it would be intimidating and and i get uh, are your kids some um, living with you at home is it are they how, how no are they? no 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 that's not no oh really where, where are they they are at a uh, boarding school for Christ. Oh, and I virtually okay. visit them. Oh, okay. cool. They yes. have their own VR headsets at their boarding school? So you virtually visit them, but you don't allow them into the virtual reality. So how does that work? Oh, like parental controls? Yes. I'm going in there and they're, well, oh, gosh, I, getting into it. It's more of a um, juvenile delinquent. Like it's a pre-juvenile delinquent. They're not in trouble for anything, but okay. they're, they're kind of red flags. Okay, you sign them up before they really do the deed. Yes, it's kind of a scared straight straight situation. Okay, and um, you know, I don't know. They they seem fine. They're screaming, "I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm good." Okay, but there's good. just something behind the eyes. 
And um, and that is actually something you can't get virtually. And don't fire me from the job. I cannot change my last name for at least another year is what they're telling me at the DMV. But anyway, it's a lot of paperwork. It is. It is. Um, but yes, they are there. And I've, I visit them virtually. I've made them their own avatars. And then I just have okay. them speak into the mic. And then I see them. And, and I make them, you know, I don't make them as muscular and beautiful as you all's avatars because I don't want to be attracted to my own sons. You know, I fear my own sons and that's enough as it is. Yeah. Yeah. mm. Well, I just want to welcome you to staff because I I feel so proud at Twin Hills when we innovate with technology. We're not just early adopters in terms of getting the babies right out of the woman's vagina who was thinking about having an abortion, but we're also early adopters (laughs) in terms of technology. I mean, we were one of the first mega churches to start streaming our services. Totally. And now what's what's online streaming a, a, a service? watching lead pastor Steve preach on your um, web browser oh, right. when you could put a skillet on your face and you could be watching him 360 you could come up you could even like t- could you could you touch oh, you could Steve touch the hem of his garment could, you, could you touch him could you walk right up to him in those heads not o- not only can you touch him but he can slap your hand away oh that what? is amazing <laughs> yes Yes, and we're, I don't, I, you guys are really bringing it out, pulling it out, but you're really pulling it out of me. But we are now also working on some VR, um, s- smell, the oh, sensory cool. of smell, <gasps> virtual smell, smell vision. Yeah. And then you get that, you get the skillet on your head, you're there. You know, you can you can smell the bodies in church. So you could feel Steve slap you, and you could almost smell his aqua de gio on his uh, décolleté, his fragrance. Exactly. Wow. That is exactly what we're saying. We're tra- it's just listen. We've been in this church. We've been going to church. People have been going to church for hundreds of years. Sure. Vows for forever. How much has it changed? Right. Decade to decade. I mean, this is basically like the church. Yeah. Uh, like the, Twin Hills, I've always said, is we're doing church like Jesus would have done it, which is, you know, this is a, f- this is, you know, we are an acts based church. This is a first century style church, and that that's what Jesus wants. And I think Jesus would also say, hey, if I was living today, I want to be where the people are. I want to get, in, you know, J- Jesus didn't say I want to go into a virtual planet situation. I'll go in there and I'll talk to the sinners and I will I will heal hearts, you know. Absolutely. I, yes, I want to be where the people are. I want to see, I want to see them dancing. Absolutely. A hundred percent. I love that that Jesus quote. Yeah. We have to update the way we do church. You know, we're not doing church the way Adam and Eve did church in the garden or the way that, you know, the tribes traveling around um, in the desert, we're doing church. We got to update it so that people know that Christ is cool. Well, isn't that the way, Hallie? I mean, it's really a balance between how Christ and the first Christians did church and how we bring the past into the present. And I feel like what Joe Cece is doing here is is just that. And I did want to ask, what is that suit that you're wearing? Because, you know, a lot of times I haven't really seen anybody wearing sort of, I guess it's like a cat suit of, of some sort. Yeah, it lo- almost looks like a um, like a wetsuit, like for a surfer. What is that? I wasn't even going to mention it. You guys are like some hard hitting interviewers it is a haptic suit thank you so much for asking and this is going to take your virtual experience to a a whole new level and i'm trying to get it funded through the church and this is why i i i love that i'm being meeting with you today okay if you're listening please reach out reach out to the to the church heads and let them know this sounds fun It sounds like a delight. Uh, The other week, I fell asleep in church. I would love to do a VR experience. You know, Uh this haptic suit is going to, I'm telling you, when I was there with Adam and Eve, seeing the tree, feeling the breeze. Okay. Whoa. Yes. And actually against my leg, I feel what? (gasps) Adam? The snake. Oh Oh my gosh. Not Adam, the snake. Oh Oh my gosh. gosh. Yeah. It was wild. Okay. I go, oh, no. I say, oh, no. It's like I'm at the the theater. And I'm sorry. I'm admitting it. I can't believe it. You guys are really pushing the, putting the heat on. You guys are really putting the heat on me. I'm a talker in the theater. I am a talker. I was going to say, are you saying, oh, no, in the theater? Yeah. I'm saying, oh, no, in the virtual, in the metaverse. Oh, no. no. Okay. What if I say, oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Then guess what happens? What? This little emo avatar. Oh, my gosh. It's like a little, it's got, it's a little frog with an earring and a Justin Bieber hairdo Uh hops in and he's coming in to watch it with me. Okay. It's, it's one of my friends I've met in the metaverse. Oh. Okay. And he turns to me, he goes, what is, what kind of game is this? I say, game? 
This is the Bible story, sir. Right. Yeah. This is the ultimate game. This is the original game. Isn't that right? That's right. And, and guess what? He came. Oh, no. <gasps> no. Oh. It, to our mega church. Oh, thank God. He came to Twin Hills. No, I mean, maybe he he wasn't wearing a haptic suit. So I can't, I, I, I don't think he was getting the same kind of feelings. But he, he came to our, yes, he came to our church. Okay. He came to our church. Well, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. You know, and um, so, yeah, maybe that's enough about the, the haptic suit. Mm-hmm. I did want to ask, um, you know, your name is Joe CC, mm-hmm. and your name used to be Joe Eats. S- Josie uh, Eats. Jo- jo- Josie Eats. I got it. Mm-hmm. And I, I just wanted to ask, you know, I've, I'm, I'm so interested in people's, you know, background, how they got into their careers. What, what were you doing? Bef- what was your name before McDonald's? And maybe we can uh, guess what you were up to. Sure thing. Well, it was a family business and it was Josie Sucks. Sucks? Mm-hmm. Was it? Sucks. Oh, you were cleaning pools and you were putting the little um, like water vacuum down there and sucking up the algae. You're warm. Okay. Ooh, um, very close. Pool sucks. Cleaning, Josie pool sucks. Cleaning. What else sucks? Josie sucks. Um, um, hot tub cleaning? Oh, um, you're really sucking. It's okay. What's really pool. sucks? I Josie mean, Hillsong sucks. now. Yeah, um, my mom sucks. My dad sucks. We all suck. Okay. We all suck. Who sucks? But, but it was just my name. They oh, they had their own. Yeah. Um, are you uh, maybe Cleveland fans or? No. No. Okay. Cleveland. Right. I. He, I Cleveland is such a sad place. Isn't it really it? is. I pray for it every day, Cleveland but it's never going to be better. It's like they just say it to themselves. Oh, it's, a, it's the greatest lie perpetuated on a city. I can't do a thing with it virtually. There's no change in it. Oh, you really? Know, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, it's just a mess. Was it a car vacuum um, drive up? Uh, you know how you can drive up and get those big vacuum sucker cleaners for your car and yes, do, it, do it, it yourself? Was. Yay! Okay. Wow. Really? Oh, yeah, that felt so good. I've told people, I've asked people to guess before, and let me tell you, they are way off. Oh, oh. good. Yeah, because I was worried for a second. Oh, yeah. Well, Josie, see, I have a quick question. And forgive me if this is too personal a question, but I would love to know the reasons that you hate Eve. Um, and Because maybe we have the same ones. Because the way, you know, I was taught Genesis is that she's the reason we have our periods, which I don't enjoy. And um, But that was one of the curses in the garden, is that she would have pain in childbirth, and that now because she took the apple and she gave Gave it to Adam. Now we have to menstruate for all female kind for all time. And I really hate her for that. Besides bringing sin into the world. Why do you hate her? I just hate her because she, you know, she's not a doer. Mm. Oh, she really? telling people to do stuff. Mm. I'm a doer. You mm. know, I see things. I, I suck them. I see things. I eat them. I mm-hmm. see things. I see them. Okay. And I, I'm not telling someone else to do it for me. Okay. Uh-huh. You're not a delegator. Eve was a little too delegating. Mm-hmm. Right? Eat the apple. Mm-hmm. And so and, and is she doing that in the virtual uh, sort of planet that you're in? Or, or is that is the character of Eve somebody else playing that? Uh, who, who is? Yeah, who's, who's Eve? This is fully insane. I'm just, this is like I'm on Dateline. I, I wasn't going to say a damn thing, but I got to tell you, she she comes off pretty clean in the virtual world. Okay. Oh. I, what, the story was not, you know, she's barely there. She's dancing and stuff. She's she's kind of around. He's, he's Adam's doing the, the stuff on it, her, his own, and she's gorgeous. Oh, wow. really? Wow. She's gorgeous. The little wow. emo kid next to me said, "Who's this?" Oh, wow. Beyonce. I go, "It's Eve." Go figure. Wow. 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 I always considered her bad. Now, will Josie see? Are they naked? I mean, do you have to avert your eyes? Could you look and see the full frontal on Adam? Right. I mean, is that there, wouldn't be appropriate. Or, is there some kind of warning, a, a rating for yeah, this one? Have they now covered themselves with the fig leaves? Where are we at in the story? If I'm honest, I can't believe I'm saying it, but I am in control of that. And I oh, didn't wow. put clothes on them. Oh, no. I wanted it to be real. Oh. And so, and I might have embellished the, these things or that things. But, you know, it's, it's what's going to keep, this is all what virtual reality is about what's going to keep you awake what's going to keep butts in the seat and i wanted i wanted everything in tip-top shape looking hot smoking hot keeping it fun well yeah yeah we we have to make the bible relevant for people so that they fall as deeply in love with the scripture as we're in love with it Uh, are there nfts there in the bible virtual world yes and they're going for big time okay (laughs) yes get your get your skillet and get in here wow they're out here I don't even know what they are, really, but I'm really into them. No one does. Now, I mean, not to go down a, a dirty, naughty, nasty road in my mind, 
But, you know, like I said before, I am a mom. I have a teenage boy. Mm -hmm. I got to be on the lookout um, all the time to make sure that his mind stays pure. You're in the grocery store. You just glance over at a magazine cover next to the Snicker bars. And all of a sudden, you see a full frontal nude on the cover of Glamour of Jamila Jamila, uh, you know, just covering up the the hot spots with her hands and, and turning her leg to cover. But she's got not a scrap on her. I'm trying to keep my teenage boy from uh, lusting in the flesh. And so my mom mind goes down this road when I see you with the thing on your face and the bodysuit because I says to myself, I says, what if some teenagers, um, you know, if I can feel Steve, lead pastor Steve slap me away, well, what if my my, my teenager could feel a, a girl reach out and, you know, t- t- touch him somewhere on his body? I mean, what if these kids were to take it to where they could be doing things, you know, lusting in the flesh in the virtual world? I mean, how are we going to keep that from being a thing? Oh, we can't. Oh, I, no. and I and I am sorry. Oh. I am sorry. I'm trying to figure it out, but it's. I got to tell you, every time I put the skillet on my face, it's. I'm in the virtual world for two seconds before I'm. I, I'm having some kind of born again kind of hello. Thank you. I'm coming. If I'm honest, I, it's just it, it's it, it's part of the culture to church. The virtual reality culture is it, and, and they're literally you meet people in the metaverse and they just say, hey, how are you? H- how many times have you come today? Are you wearing a haptic st- stuff like that? It's 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 a part of it's part of the world. Right. Uh, and you're coming you're coming to church and you're coming in. Church. Yes. And it, when when people say I'm coming this week and there's there's a double meeting for virtual. And I and I and, I, and I, if I'm honest and, and I know I, listen, I love my kids. I, th- I think I've made that clear. OK, I I. I fear them and I love them and I and I understand this fear. But hear me out. They can have a virtual experience. And guess what? Now they're not looking for it. Now they're not out there out in the world possibly meeting a Catholic. Right. right. Now right, they're not geez. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, you have all the control. Yeah. Oh god, can you believe? Okay. I'm not even going to get into it. Saving yourself for marriage, I'm so sure. Wait, you're saying that VR can help you save yourself for marriage? Because, yes. whoa. So it could be a tool that's used for good. Absolutely. But, I mean, are there virtual venereal diseases? Is there virtual pregnancy? No, there is not. Whoa. I am married. In the metaverse, I am married. In the metaverse, that oh, is, I can't believe I'm telling you this. <laughs> Who are you married to in the metaverse? And is it a marriage? I mean, this is so fascinating yeah, to me because, count? yeah, it's it's hard to know what's real and what's not. But you're yeah. saying you're in a uh, you're married in the metaverse. And do you consider that a, a real marriage? Well, I do consider a real me- marriage in the metaverse. But my husband here on Earth, on the planet, does not know. But just back to what Hallie was asking about earlier, making those connections. Yeah. I've never I've never felt closer to anyone but Croak. My husband what? in the metaverse oh, is Croak. Croak. His name is Croak. Croak. And oh, another frog guy. Yes. Like a bullfrog? That's a very nice like um, avatar and animal because it went from being a tadpole to a frog. It had a transformation the same way we do when we become Christ followers. Very, very Bible based uh, animal. Very cool, Croak. That's a good call. I feel good about him. I'm learning from you. This is my whole point. We can never stop learning. I'm learning here on your podcast. You learn the virtual word, world. In the, you learn in the virtual meta world. You know, right. yeah. I didn't know that I needed another marriage. I had no idea. I had none. And if I'm honest, Croak could be a fifth grade girl in Alabama. I don't know. But what I know is I feel heard by Croak. I feel loved by Croak. And that is real. Okay. Even though I have no real idea of who they really are, what they look like or anything else, and I have no real idea of anything that's real. It is real. And you just have to get – You have, I would love for you two to meet me in the actual metaverse. And is your husband, is your husband here okay with it? To tell you the truth, he likes that I have a hobby. Josie C., was played by Joe Scott. She's so funny on Joe Para Talks With You. <gasps> Are you watching Joe Para Talks With You? I love that show. Follow her at Joe Scott, and that Scott has four T's. I'm Holly Laurent playing Hallie Labonte, and Grey Haas was played by Greg Hess. Follow us and Mega the Podcast on Twitter and Instagram. And if you really want to get out of hell free card, support us on Patreon. The link is in the show notes.